Welcome to Neosho County Community College. In this Inside NC training, you will learn how to design the home page of your course. When you're given the course template for a course that you'll, you'll be teaching at Neosho County Community College, the home page of your course is the first thing that students will see. You will see on the left hand side of your course one portlet is referred to as about this course. The second portlet which can be found on the right hand side is called news. The news portlet is actually a blog post. We'll start with the left hand side of the page which is the about this course portlet. From here you'll want to edit this information to include information about your course. You could include information about yourself, about the textbook, about course expectations and goals, or requirements that you have. Another great item to include under About This Course is contact information. How can students get a hold of you if they have problems or need help? Or your email address or phone number that you use. It's also good to tell the students what to expect time-wise and when you'll be returning their phone calls and email messages. This way, if they do not hear back from you within a certain amount of time, they'll know what your expectations are in returning uh, those questions and uh, through emails and phone calls that you may get. To edit this information, you'll select the Edit Content option on the right. If you would like to include a header with your item, we'll begin with it first. Select the pencil icon beside the number 1. The header can be displayed at the very top, which will tell the students, identify to them, what it is that you're talking about. This could be course information, textbooks information, or maybe a little bit about the instructor. From there, You'll go to the next text box which allows you to add additional text and images. A font editor can be found towards the top that allows you to change your font style, the font size, there's also a spell check, including formatting options of bold, italic, and underline, some color choices, highlighting tool, and the remove format option. This will remove all of the formatting that you've made to existing text that you've typed in. There's also some alignment features such as Justify, Center, Right, and then the full Justify. Bullets and numbering can be found next. Included is a horizontal line. Any hyperlinks that you may want to include. Special characters. Insert emotions. Or last, if you've typed something in Microsoft Word and have copied it, you can paste it. That keeps the formatting the same. Once you've typed your text in, you can also add an image. To add an image, select the option at the bottom that says Add Image. Locate your image on your computer. Open the image. You will see a thumbnail of the image at the bottom. From here, you can select the image and drag it in the text box as one way, or you can make the image larger by selecting the magnification tool. When choosing the magnification tool, your image will display very large. From here, you can drag that image into the box as well. If you'd like to make your image smaller, use the sizing handles that can be found around the outside edge of the image and drag inwards. Continue to do this until you have reached the size that you'd like. When you have reached the size you want, you can then apply the alignment styles just like we did previously. You can left align it, center, make it towards the right, or justify it. 
two ways to insert the image. First, select Adding an Image, and then choose what size of an image you'd like to place into the text. Adding an image can be a great way to add a customization to your course. Having that little bit of color can allow students to feel comfortable and you're welcoming them into the course. Once completed, select the Save option. You can continue to add additional elements by choosing Add a New Element. If you have additional information you'd like your students to be familiar with, here you could add additional information, maybe textbook information. Once completed, select Save. To take a look at your course to see how it appears, Go back to the home page to get the full view. You'll notice the headings, course information, and textbooks information has been listed. Now let's talk about the portlet on the right, which is the news portlet. This is actually a blog portlet that allows you to make weekly, daily postings to your students. To add a new post, select the option Add a new post. From here, you'll notice that you have a content tab as well as an options tab. The content tab allows us to actually write the post and give information to our students. The options tab allows you to enable comments, include your name as the author, and then include who you would like to show it to. You can also start it on a specific day and end it on a specific day. If you teach more than one course, your blog post could be copied to additional courses that you may be instructing. Let's go back to the content tab and we'll add the headline, Welcome to this course. In the text, you could give the students a little introduction about yourself and what your expectations are. Often, some instructors prefer to use the blog post for important announcements or upcoming events, while others use blog posts in a more personal fashion, showing students a picture of what their weekend activities were. Communicating to students is one of the most important ways that we keep our course room inviting and making students feel connected to the online learning environment blog posts allow that opportunity for our students to get comfortable with the course and get reminded of those important dates coming up. When you're completed, select the preview option to get a glimpse of what your blog post would look like. When you're ready to post, choose Save. Going back to the home page, you can now see your first post on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you see the portlet about this course. While the template provides you two portlets, some faculty may want to um, add an additional portlet. To do that, you can select the Edit Page option from the top right. Then select the Content tab. Under the Content tab, you can then choose to add a portlet. There's a variety of portlets to choose from when you design your home page, including a bookmarks page or a calendar option, a chat, forums, or a freeform content page, which is great for just text. Handouts, roster, an RSS reader page, all of these could be options that you could include on your own page of your course. When completed, you can go back down towards the bottom of the page and choose Exit. This completes the training on designing your home page of your course. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at online at neosho.edu or contact Anna Catterson at acatterson at neosho.edu. Thanks for joining us.